Hey Collective, it's Chatting with Chook, and I'm back with another video. What's good, y'all? So let's hop right in, get into some messages. Okay. Oh, hold on, y'all. Whatever falling, they gonna fall. I see she, they so shady. <laughs> y'all, I'm working on like. being mindful of what I say for real because people definitely going to use your words against you at this time I'm hearing what they say when you being Mirandized anything you say or you say or do can be used against you in the court of law mm, somebody could be being Mirandized But that's what I'm hearing. Like, be mindful what you say to people because, yeah, anything you say or use could be a, could be used against you at this time. It's not even. I don't know why I'm laughing because it's not fucking funny. Because it's really like, yo, people will really take what you say, twist your words, or add their own little sauce and flavor to it. Like, people be wilding. Okay, you got family secrets being revealed. First card out. So this could be around some family. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table, right? Yeah. This that reminded me of who is that? Kate Michelle when she was like, this bitch shaking the table. <laughs> Y'all. All right, you got gallery department. So a secret surrounding something with somebody with a gallery department. Somebody could somebody could collect art. Something, somebody around some art somebody could be in an art business or something like that um a secret is coming out okay you guys shit is too much you gotta focus on the coin yeah i feel like yeah you got god show you time and time again keep your faith in him like it's like you're not worried about this family secret you don't really give a fuck what it is it's like at this point you like you know i gotta just focus on my money i don't give a fuck like because i'm getting this energy of because paintings something around the gallery department is something with some money like paint and i picked this up in another reading but art is fucking expensive as fuck i don't know about y'all but look into it like that's crazy because i was watching a show blacklist again y'all might need to watch that show but the guy it was an episode and they was talking about paintings like art or whatever and, and he was like um basically one of the it was like a night it was nice painting though i'm not even gonna lie but the shit was worth a half a mil one little ass painting was worth a half a mil but i feel like whatever this family secret is like i'm getting the inheritance vibes something around some money because art course but it's like you don't give a fuck about this shit you know what i'm saying it's like you like man if I got to do too much or think about too much or be sitting here putting a piece of jigsaw pieces, puzzles together and all that, I'm going to just focus on myself and what I got going on. And I feel like that's what people don't realize. It don't matter. It's, it was never about no money with you. It was strictly about you getting your shit in order. But something is being revealed. Yeah, you got this too shall pass. And I see dreadheads. So somebody could have locks. You know could be growing a locks or something of that sort but it's like you like this too shall pass like you don't have time for this somebody could have twins i've seen that baby twins card come out again but let's get one more You could be listening to a lot of music right now. Thank you. All right. All right, I see broken to unbreakable. Yes, yeah, so I feel like whatever 
then I see sometimes you're oblivious to how loving you really are. That's why your ancestors don't play um don't play when it comes to you. I'm telling you, whatever these people try to do to break you, this family, it's like this shit didn't break you. It really didn't. And if it did, it's like now you're unbreakable. Like if this shit broke if it did break you, the way you about to rebuild yourself back up. It's going to be crazy. I done cut the deck on the Queen of Pentacles. I told y'all this shit is around some money. Something is something is due to you. Something is due to you. About to have a whole new beginning coming. Something is coming out. I'm telling you, because I heard the Miranda. I'm like, wh like, what? But be mindful what you say at this time. Because people, people is really trying to twist and turn your words to make it something that it's not they really are so just be mindful what you say to people i'm hearing even how you say it you gotta be strategic yeah you see this ten of cups this is a karmic ass family ten of cups fell right in the reverse i hope y'all see that but i'm gonna show y'all ten of cups in the reverse it's like whatever the, i'm telling you something in the justice system whatever this family did look with the moon, something is being revealed. Something is definitely being revealed. This ain't no happy-go-lucky family year with the devil out here. And they was trying to do a lot to stop this shit, too. That's why it's like, it was to the point where, yeah, you got the three of cups. Could have been up to three people, three females. But it's like, whatever they were trying to do to stop this from coming out. They got they self caught up in some shit. They got they self caught up in some shit. But I feel like you 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 let spirit handle it. And that's why it's happening the way it's happening. Yeah, star. I feel like you're the star of this show. Look, nine of pinnacles. For real. Somebody could be like I'm getting like you're a younger sibling. Or like you're young in this family dynamic. It's people that's older than you that was trying to fuck you over. Like people that you could have looked up to. People that could have took care of you. You know, people that you always went to for support and that helping hand. These are the same motherfuckers who tried to keep you stuck with this eight of swords here. Yup, they sure the fuck did. Yeah, wow, now look. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Hold on. What happened to my cards? These shits went all crazy. Oh, here we go. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So, see, I feel like somebody... I, yo. And that's the Four of Pentacles. Somebody really tried to keep you out in the cold when it came to some... When it came to money. But see, what the thing is, and now it's like, like I said, this shit was too much for you. It's like, you feel like you was jumping through loopholes to try to figure some shit out. So you was like, you know what? Fuck that shit. You started focusing on yourself, finding ways to make your own money. And it's like, they started watching you. It's like, these people are seeing you self-sufficient now. I heard, now that it's over, stop calling. This is me, myself, and I. Yeah. It's like, yo, I feel so, because it's like, it hurt. It hurt. Yeah, with this tennis swords here, this ending, it hurt it. For people, your family, to put this dagger in your back over finances, it fucked you up a little bit because it's like, damn, like, I would have gave you anything you asked for, but for you to take something from me or feel like I'm in deserving of it, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. And I feel like people, this like, with this justice here, people really could be going to court, but it's like, I'm getting that people in the court, like, whoever's in this, like, during, whoever's been listening to what's going on, like, um, what you call them? <laughs> jurors it's like they feeling it like damn because i'm feeling it it's like when they listening to the story and what this person did is really like people was not liking just how greedy somebody got over money 
It's like everybody in that jury is just is seeing just how much money is the root of all evil. And I feel like it was set up that way so they could learn a lesson. I'm telling you, you don't go nowhere by coincidence. Okay? And I feel like they have a certain people on this jury who either been through that shit or they did something like that to where as they understand it like, damn, that is fucked up. This shit is not going to be good. Yeah, with this fool and two of wands, I feel like you do. Yeah, and then you got the sun and the ace of swords. That's the fucking truth. With the strength and then the empress right behind this. You have a whole new beginning coming. When this message coming, I'm getting with this two of wands. I'm picking that up. A message is going to come into you. It's going to shine some light on the secrets that, that has been, that's about to be exposed. I'm telling you, you're going to have the truth and clarity around the shit. It's fucked up though. Like you don't like not over no money. You don't do that shit over no money. And the crazy thing is everybody that was watching you, you know what I'm saying? Cause don't get me wrong, they was having motherfuckers watching you. Like everybody was watching you. The people who fucked you over, the people who was trying to find out the truth. A lot of shit took place behind behind this because it was a it was a scam. It was a fraud. This shit could have been going on for years too in this fucking family. But with this eight of one, I mean, yeah, something is coming in fast. With this eight of pentacles and nine of pentacles, it's like you're self-sufficient without without whatever the fuck they got going on. That's real shit. You're self-sufficient without whatever it is that they got going on. Like people try to make you out to be a certain way or to look a certain way. And it's like your actions is showing otherwise. That's why one thing you you like believe half of what you believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. Real shit. Real shit. Cause I feel like people really couldn't tell what it was with you because of how you move. You may not be doing much or nothing, but they don't know what you was doing at the time. You know what I'm saying? On the outside, it looked like you wasn't doing shit. But when they really started looking and digging and finding out what the fuck you really do. Because don't get Somebody had... I'm hearing a private investigator watching you. Like on some real movie shit. You think not? You think not? Okay. You really have people watching you, taking pictures of you, where you at. You could have been in a local... I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I wouldn't give a fuck if you was in your local grocery store. Motherfuckers was watching you following you because they really wanted to know what the fuck is you doing you know what i'm saying people saying all this negative shit about you but it's like you don't like it may not be you no know, it's no evidence to what they're saying but it's nothing that you doing to back up what like you know what i'm saying but they found out the truth oh trust and believe they got to the bottom of it And all they see is you, you know, making a way. People fucked up. People is fucked up. Yeah, you got to manifest. Yeah, your desires are within reach. They see you making a way, manifesting whatever it is that you want in, in your little life. <laughs> For real. I'm telling you, you obsession, toxic family, transformation, life purpose. Like, I can't make it up. Desires, cash flow, rumors, shook. Caution, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. This family is obsessed with you. They obsessed with your transformation. They obsessed to see how far you really gonna go in life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they have never encountered someone like you so up close and personal. This is some shit you see on TV. And it's like, this is my family member. I'm here, I have a high priestess as a family member or or like this 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 like you're something important real shit and they i feel like they never seen it up close and personal so they're obsessed with you but it's it, then it's negative it's negative it's like to really watch you trans they're you're transforming right before these people eyes and they desire everything that you have everything that you will have okay it's, I'm telling you, it's rumors going on around this money. People know. People know you got money. You, you probably got shit to your name. It's mad funny. 
motherfuckers, I'm telling you, because they already know what happened. All these people that was involved in this shit, people starting to go missing, not coming around, because they knew. They knew whether they was testifying in court against you. Whatever part they took in that shit, they knew and they shook. Because it's like people talking. Y'all know motherfuckers love a gossip. Motherfuckers love a good conversation. So you talking about some money? You talking about some big money? Somebody owning something? Or somebody taking? Oh, people love a story. People love a story. Be cautious, though. I'm telling you. Be cautious, though. But I feel like whoever you are, when this, when this all said and done, you're going to leave this shit behind. You and your little suitcase. And you see, he ain't got much of nothing. You don't see no boxes or none of that. He ain't going nowhere. Like, no, we going it's a whole new beginning, okay? You got people lusting over you, too. It's, like, weird. And I'm telling you, it's not okay. Behind the scenes. Yeah, somebody... You like, yeah, it's too much. Look, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are happening that you can't see. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But everything that's happening, it was meant to happen just how it should. I was about to bite my tongue. That's crazy. Somebody, somebody wants you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> somebody wants you to shut the fuck up. Yeah, we're dead. I mean, we're lying dead. Yo, somebody wish you dead. Somebody wish you dead at this time. It's like, yo, please shut this bitch up. Because it's like, they lying. And then, like I said, people was coming to look for information. And they found it. And it's like, everything you were doing or saying was contradicting everything that they said. It was not one thing that matched up where it was like, two plus two is equal in four. Everything that you just contradicted this person. It's like, they lies put them in a ditch, like... They dug this grave for them for their damn self. All the lying that they did, they dug this grave for themselves. It's like somebody wish you would just, sh they want to shut you up. They want to shut you up. They like, if this bitch don't shut up. I'm telling you. Look, you got apology and arrested. I'm telling you. Somebody, somebody, they was doing a whole lot of humor. They thought this shit was funny, too. I don't know. That's so fucked up. These are the type of people who, after court, when, when shit was going good, when it was looking on the up and up for them, they would go have drinks, you know, wine and dine. Because they just knew. They just knew something was coming for them. I'm hearing, don't count your chickens before they hatch. And that's exactly what the fuck they did. They knew, they, they yeah, they thought this shit was funny. But it's like you doing black and all this, all this magic where you thought it was going to go. It was going to return back to you. Now they feeling bound to this current situation. Yeah. Because when them handcuffs clank, clank. Like, motherfucker. Okay. You definitely are going to be bound to that situation. For a very little while. That's so fucked up, though. I don't wish jail or none of that or nobody. But you don't do shit like that. And this person really thought that they was going to get away with it. With this jumping to conclusion, terror reader, and gratitude, you could be a terror reader. But this person, yeah, I feel like they was doing this shit maybe before you got into tarot. And, and this is how you found your answers. Getting into tarot. For real. And it's not even saying you came to tarot for answers, but it's like you got the clarity that you needed. People was going to tarot readings, doing getting tarot readings on you too. Okay, but... It's like, they was jumping to conclusion. I don't know whatever them, them terror readers was telling them, but they wasn't telling them something that, because clearly this shit is, is, okay? So they waste, they was just wasting their money, thinking they was splurging. Then when shit got fucked up, they started going to get readers, trying to figure this shit out, doing more magic and confusion spells. And it was like this person was just going through something they never had. Like, like, man, listen. Oh man. Yeah, you got guidance. Somebody could have wanted you to be um fucking like have some sort of addiction. Like they wanted shit the fuck over for you so that way they could have something to use against you. Word. Somebody they wanted to have something to use against you.
Now you got apology in wrong way. Yeah. I'm telling you. They have they I, I'm pretty sure they are fucking sorry. But that's all I'm hearing. They just sorry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody like, you know how like I don't know. I remember when I was growing up, somebody told me like, don't say I'm sorry, say I apologize. Like and that's because, like, you know, you know when somebody say, you a sorry-ass motherfucker. <laughs> like, like somebody who always sorry, but I feel like when you apologize, like, I apologize, you really mean it. You know what I'm saying? That's me personally. And sometimes people apologize and don't really mean it, too. But I'm just saying, with those two words, this is sorry, motherfucker. This person ain't, they not... They want they want forgiveness, but they not like it's like they only want forgiveness because what they going through. They don't they're not sorry for what the fuck they did to get them. You know what I'm saying? Like if they was if 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 they never got caught, they would have never been sorry. This is not somebody who would have came to you after and said, "Oh, I'm giving you this whatever." Like this person would have never did that. If they would have got away with it, they would have been away with it. They only sorry because they got caught. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person is stuck. They're heavy in their emotions, their feelings. Like, <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, it was a lot. This is, look, it's three females here. It was a lot. Could have been a water sign, earth sign, fire sign. Or in the midst of this shit. Because that's that three of cups. But it's like somebody tried to keep you stuck in here. You are getting a whole new beginning. Page of one. Look, page, page of cups and empress. And the five of cups. I'm telling you, this is three females. And see, you're this empress. And that's, that's what they're sad about. Like, that's crazy. That's so crazy, yeah. But with this seven of wands, the wheel, and the magician... I do feel like you're you able to close this cycle out and manifest whatever it is that you want in your life. Yeah, you got the Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Tower. It's over. Like, that Tower done come down. It's over. It's over for these people. This situation is done. It's over with. 2233 on the phone. Yeah, balance. It's time. Balance has to come in. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. See, I feel like you don't judge these people for what they did. It wasn't. It's not your place to judge them. Let the Most High judge them. You know what I'm saying? Them people, how the court system works. Let them judge them. Yeah, acceptance. I am learning to accept things I cannot change. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't. You don't hold no grudge against nobody. It is what it is. It is what it is. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Period. Like you don't hold you don't you don't hold like it is what it is. You ain't holding nothing over nobody head or against them. You know, like it's really like it is what it is. Yeah, courage. I find the inner strength to face my fear with confidence. And you got change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yeah, that's your focus. You know, whatever change that come in your life is, is like, this is the only way you are able to move forward and elevate and grow is if you do have change. So you accepting that shit, regardless of what it is or like, you know, you know, you got hurt in the process, but that be how it is. But this family secret is coming out. It's been long overdue. It's time. You know what I'm saying? But that's 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 what it really is people not liking something that like this is, yo somebody like don't like that yeah they did some unjustifiable shit they did some unjustifiable shit so that's the message that i have for you all take what resonate and leave what does not and until next time